A video downlink system that gives you a view through the camera that's on your multi-rotor is especially useful uh, when trying to frame a shot for photography or videography, as you can probably imagine. Behind the scenes, Phantom 2, here with Mark. Stefan, what up? All right, here we go. And it's got to make it out to the boat that we can't even see out there. They're on a water weenie. Here we go. Mark's with his uh, fat sharks on. There are several different options for setting up first person view or FPV on your multi-rotor. If you get one of the Phantom Vision models, the Vision or Vision Plus, it has this capability built in. All you need for FPV is a smartphone or a tablet to pair with the Phantom Vision. These models use Wi-Fi to beam the signal, the video signal from uh, the Vision down to your smartphone or tablet. Uh, the Wi-Fi, I've heard, does have some lag. Uh, there might be a slight lag in the video link, so you just need to keep that in mind if you're using that system. If you opt for the Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse gimbal and GoPro, like I suggest, uh, you'll have to purchase a third-party video transmitter and receiver in order to do FPV. This model does not come with any kind of video downlink. Some people prefer to use a uh, battery-powered LCD monitor. This setup can be nice because it allows the operator to glance uh, down at the screen and then glance up at the sky and find the quadcopter. Helps you keep situational awareness, make sure you're not going to run into anything, um, but you can also look down and see what the camera is seeing. The FPV system that I use and recommend is the Fat Shark system from Fat Shark.